Hi, everybody. This is Dr. Dadu. Here to present Yates method and our uh, happy listening. Okay. This is the fifth in the series of my videos on the design of experiment. Yes, method and R is the topic of the present discussion. And I assure you that irrespective of your version of R, the course that I presented here in him will run. Well, I presume that you know about the eight method, at least to a certain level. The additional are something that can be easily comprehended. And then the codes are quite reusable. The reference material still remains Cochrane and Cox. Now, before we go to Yates, let's draw the link from what we call the family known as the 2N series. Members of the family known as the 2N series are N factorial experiments. We are each of the N factors are in two levels, very often present and absent. Further, with N factors, there are N main effects. Well, N combination two, two factorial interactions, and N combination three, three factorial interactions. It is the contribution of any effect to the sum of squares in the analysis of variance is provided by this quantity. This box here contains the effect total. So you square the effect total and divide by 2n times r, n being the number of factors in there, and r being the number of replicates. Okay. Yes, method and information on the data. The yes method for computing factorial effects total gives an automatic technique of computing all the factorial effect totals without writing down the algebraic expression for the factorial effects. If all or most of the factorial effects are wanted for study, the yes method is the most expeditious. You could be finished in no time. Okay. With respect to the data, it was obtained through an experiment to determine the most effective of four items, that is manure, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, used as fertilizers on the farm, having system blood with respect to a crop. Now, if the plots are more than 16, then they must be in multiples of 16. Say probably 32, 64, like that, 48. They can be multiples of 16. Okay, now the data. This is the this is the data. These are the main effects. The two level interaction, three level interaction, and the four level interaction. This is not okay. And these are their totals. Some of sum over the replicates that the total. These totals are the ones you see here. We have to say some things about the Yates method. N is equal to four. This part, these sums and subtractions will be done to this level four until when this value here is the same as this value. Then I had this one gotten, you pair them up. By the time you add this to this, it gives this. Adding this to this gives this. This with this will give the third. Now, by the time you are done, we have this far off, you will be halfway through. What about these ones? Yes, the pairing. You remove the top one at the top from the one at the bottom. See, 181 minus 121 will give you 60. 
257 minus 104 will give you 153. Like that, that completes it. Okay, we are going to repeat the process four times before you stop. This is in the manual computation. And that will enable you to get the analysis of variance. All right. You will capture the treatment effects, just like we said. You square this, divide by 64 in this case, because 2 raised to the power n, n is 4, 2 raised to the power 1 is 16. R is also 4. 16 times 4 is 64. OK? So by the time you divide, you capture the effect of m, n. By the time you sum that, you get the treatment. Well, the replications, you know the sum, how to calculate, normal way to calculate the sum of squares of replication. And when you have the total sum of squares, you remove these two from there, and what is left is error sum of squares. And anyway, that's with respect to the and calculation. Okay. When you give the codes from here to here, you fed the computer with the data. These two, these two codes will give you this output. And now it's time for comparing to be sure that uh, the R fully understands what we are fed into it and is actually doing our bidding. We are going to compare this with the uncalculated result. Look at it. 3, 15, 14, 4, 93, 26,000, whatever, 4,000, whatever. Okay. 493, 26,000, then 4,000. So we are on the same page. Okay. Give more quotes. Just these two, and this output will be here. If we go back to what is given here, it says nothing is significant on the replications, but the treatments. Then how come? What's wrong? What, what is the situation with the treatments? We come here, you will see. The main effect, M, N, and K are equally effective on those plots. Yeah. Equally effective and highly effective. P is parallelly effective. The MK interaction also effective, but not as effective as the NK interaction. MNK for the three level interaction now, is also effective. These are the ones that are effective on those plots. And they are the ones that are responsible for the treatment being effective. All right. That's the situation. This is the fathers I intend to go and use method and uh, watch out for the competition of another design or technique next time. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for listening. Bye for now. Thank you. See you next time.